PMG. Minister Bergmanis, uh, welcome to Georgia. Thank you very much for coming for the centennial uh, celebrations of Georgia's independence. Uh, it's a large delegation headed by the President Fayonis uh, is, uh, uh, in Georgia, and it is our great pleasure and honor. Uh, of course, uh, with the Defense Minister uh, with the, uh, of the friendly uh, strategic partner nation for Georgia, we uh, definitely want to discuss the security issues. In uh, 2014, when uh, the uh, Russian Federation has uh, uh, occupied the Ukrainian uh, Crimea and uh, they, they go on with the annexation, uh, first thing in Georgian's mind uh, came up that we were right in 2008 when we were warning that uh, they will not stop here. Uh, but the second thing, uh, to be very honest, uh, uh, came up in our minds was uh, Latvia. Watching on TV the green men, uh, watching on TV this uh, uh, hybrid, new hybrid elements of, uh, of the warfare um, and having in mind the lar largest uh, Russian language minority in, uh, in uh, Latvia. Everyone was warned that uh, if not stop them here, if not they contain Russia uh, today, then it will uh, go further and first place it may be uh, uh, Latvia or other Baltic states. So. The measures have been taken uh, after that. Now we have stronger presence of NATO uh, forces patrolling in... Uh, uh, air policing. Air policing in, in Latvia. Do you feel safer today and uh, do you feel that it is contained and the major threat is avoided? Thank you very much for the invitation and I participate in this program. I'm very privilege and honor that will be celebrated together with you this very important day is Sentinelli. And we are celebrated the same in 100 years in, in this uh, year autumn. And But if we come back uh, and talk about what's happened in 2014 and how feel it, and absolutely true. Uh, some days ago I participated in uh, uh, three Baltics Minister of Defense uh, meeting and we talk about that. What's the situation in 2014 and how important the uh, decision would, would take it in, uh, in two summits for all Baltic region and Welsh summit where we are very quickly started the adaptation process in NATO and of course historical decision for Baltic states in, in Warsaw summit. I participate in, uh, in this uh, summit uh, and, uh, and no, I am absolutely sure can answer for this question much safer we feel it at the moment. And we saw that and I feel that when I was in two months ago in, uh, in exercises in our biggest uh, uh, land forces uh, range together with soldiers and uh, in the morning when I come back at, uh, in a camp from uh, forest, uh, I saw how many armored vehicles, tanks, I saw in our forest before, never, 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 never saw that. And uh, my experience and my knowledge, yeah, I serve in, in Latvian armed forces more than 10 and a half years but it's not high grade and uh, just uh, first private. But uh, after when I retired from army, I asked what I, how I can help again for my states. And some people talk with me and invited in, uh, joined in uh, politician environment. Uh, I very good remember, I very well remember what's happened with me in 2014. Uh, my personal feeling and uh, very early before uh, Crimea occupation, I am Latvian Olympic Committee Vice President and I was in, uh, in Sochi Olympics. 
I long period never been in uh, in uh, in Russia, and I met a volunteers and I met a young generation in Russia, and I think maybe Russia change, because feeling and very open and, and friendly. <laughs> And one day after Olympics, on 24th February, I very well remember that. Again, the same situation. And you mentioned the word uh, hybrid, something new. Not nothing new. For us, it's absolutely equal what ha happened with us in, uh, before Second World War. How Soviet Union uh, occupied Latvia. Absolutely similar s uh, scenario. It's uh, before it's discussion and for the first level, sign it. Very friendly <coughs> armed <Jay>. forces <laughs> comes in and arrive in our country, and after everything is very similar because that is how we very well know that. And uh, but of course, Russia uses it's much modern way that that's absolutely. And of course, everyone may be forgotten, but uh, President Putin, I don't know how long period after, said this green man is not yes. green man, he's a special forces soldier. Yes. And everyone like a little bit forgotten that. And yeah, and how we believe it if a president of our neighbor country says one, and really is an absolutely another. But, uh, if we again come back about the uh, feeling, it's uh, unbelievable successful implementate this Warsaw decision for us. Because uh, Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group, at the moment deployed on, on, on our soil, and, and, and how developed this project is unbelievable great. Because our framework, Canada, is joined in that process with unbelievable attitude. And I'm absolutely happy when I saw that. And, and all Canadians, I was in Canada and talked with parliamentaries, member, parliament member, and with society, and accept that. And before our relationship, yeah, we know we're in an allies in NATO, but that personal feeling and personal touching, I don't know how, why, maybe one of the uh, reason is uh, a lot of Latvian diaspora people and Canada is very multinational yes. uh, like it's very well understood what's happened in Ukraine because it's Ukraine diaspora in Canada yes. is huge. unbelievable huge uh, yeah and but and our battle group uh, in Latvia is uh, I think it's very good example of allies idea NATO uh, alliance idea because we have a transatlantic bond with Canada we have uh, nations who in this group who comes from south Italy and, and Spain and our battle groups is two states from Balkan region who is always is very hist play in yeah. world's history very seriously rule uh, and this is Albania and Slovenia and of course is for us is unbelievable good because Poland participated in our in our group and, and, and in Poland deployed another EFP battle yes. group with the framework in, uh, is a US but this connection with Poland and Poland in one part of our group is very important for us because we fight together with Polish soldiers in our independence battle time. Yes. In history, previous century. History remembers. Yeah, it's, that is uh, symbolic. It's great symbolic answer. And this battle group show this unity and solidarity. Absolutely great way. It's our battle. In, 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 in this summer, and two others, uh, our allies joined in our battle group is Czechs and Slovaks. And uh, for us, okay, we are very, very satisfied about this group, but military is, of course, is some challenges. I'll manage that process Definitely. because it's a lot of nations in, 
in one unit? It is a really, uh, it has a vital importance to have such, a, such an important presence, a military presence of the Allies in, uh, in Latvia. But, uh, Minister, let me dwell a little bit more on the hybrid uh, threats. Um, diaspora, uh, Russian-speaking uh, diaspora, is, I think, uh, is the largest. It's the largest uh, from uh, uh, broad countries. Yes, in the, uh, in the allies, in, in our regions, it's, it's the largest Russian-speaking diaspora. Yep. I saw uh, from time to time in the reports and news that uh, uh, the uh, Russia, uh, Latvian government has uh, made a decision to make compulsory the Latvian language uh, just recently, and uh, Russia reacted immediately, threatening with the sanctions. Uh, after expelling the Russian uh, diplomats uh, from uh, the Baltic uh, states and in particular uh, from Latvia and after the visit of the heads of the Baltic states to United States, the next day Russia immediately organized the military exercises and you were uh, uh, forced to, uh, you made a decision to close the airspace. For, for some time, and it was a clear uh, nice. provocation. We are facing this propaganda issue uh, similarly. It's, uh, it's an issue, it's a challenge for Georgia. How you tackle this uh, problem of uh, the propaganda and uh, fake news and the, the, the machinery is working uh, very, very seriously. Very seriously and very good quality. Sophisticated, Ab absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, when I switch on uh, some programs in Russian television, uh, news channels or other. It's, I grew up in, in Soviet Union time and I saw what's happened in, in, in the communist time. But that is lie. Level is wonderful, wonderful. And, and if I, like it's, we are mentioned, it's a young generation who is not a lot of uh, historical heritage bringing from Soviet time. <laughs> Uh, and no, no, under what's happened really, under, uh, uh, and uh, when we together, all three Baltics, uh, Minister of Defense, uh, were in in U.S. and we talk with congressmen, with senators, with other leadership people. For them, is something new what's happened in 2016 in uh, president elections. And interferes from Russians, yes. and for them that is a little bit shock. We, you are absolutely correctly. Every day we're facing with that threat, and of course we know that, uh, but it's not easy. You mentioned this language, uh, change uh, our school systems, and uh, <clears throat> uh, but how and what to do? Ministry of Defense. It's not easy for us because, of course, uh, we just one uh, aim for us, safe in, in our country, this security. This is just one main uh, goal. And we try very seriously and uh, we feel that when, because it's government and, of course, with, with society permission gave for us big resources and now we are very fast developed, our armed forces. Uh, we do and we invite uh, more people join in our uh, National Guard system, this is volunteer systems. It's my parliamentary secretary who is, works with me, is joined in this process some Four months ago, it's not easy. It's because it's uh, level of skills at the moment of national guards is very close to professional army. Of course, we have a lot to talk about uh, rebuilt conscript system. This is other uh, view of angle. Uh, what's a big discussion in, in, in internal at home? But we are taking the decisions. We want developed our professional armed forces, uh, national guards, this is second uh, direction, and third is we are 
refresh and, and start uh, uh, reserves. A lot of discussion about conscripts. It's not just talk about uh, financial resources, but of course, infrastructures, uh, uh, instructors need for that process. And finally, what is uh, your aim and what is your goal? And you are invest uh, maybe big money and finally you can broken maybe what you do at the moment, current moment, and not and take it fruit in this process. It's not easy, but like it's, you are absolutely correct, it's some other states around of us re, re, uh, rebuilt uh, conscript systems like Lithuania and, 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 and Sweden. But, okay, <laughs> if we look at a much deeper process about rebuilt uh, conscript systems like in, in Sweden, a pool from which we are pick up uh, uh, next soldiers is 100,000 uh, young people. But you are teach just 4,000, this is 4%. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is correct, it's a, it's a conscript system, but it's, what is your aim? A, that is a question. This is just one point. Other, we are do something in small steps in like your country in a comprehensive security system. How I see this is very important for us because we built our state resilience. And this is not easy because you understood how many uh, agencies and, and, and ministry involved in that process. It's coordination. Yeah, it's coordination, yeah, with, because you are build your state resilience. And I'm very, very uh, satisfied when I have a meeting with uh, Finnish uh, Minister of Defense and uh, and show for us presentation how, how them build that system in uh, Finland. It's 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 very interesting, but of course it's very tough and need uh, time for that. I'm uh, talk with uh, Georgians. Uh, defense ministry who is similar like we uh, do some steps in these directions. Uh, other how we are protect our country and do something with uh, hybrid threats. We are uh, at the moment approved in commission in uh, parliament and defense commission. Uh, we are put back in a, in a school, it's a, uh, I'll call it a state defense subject, it's a, mm -hmm. but not just focusing on military field, it's a wider much wider and the main, how I see, it's the main is a state thinking. State thinking is, and, 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 and this is important for young generation, give them information and, and, and teach them about how, how work uh, state. And not for me, is, of course, I am happy if we are, after this graduation of secondary school, somebody goes to defense sector. But for me, his main goal is if I, young people goes to another state's authority, works for state, like uh, it's teacher, it's a uh, firefighter, it's policeman. It's not important what you do, but how you help your, for your country. Uh, this is that directions on what we are do and how we are help for our state. But this uh, much wider, what you say, this hybrid is much wider. A threat, like because it's uh, economy field. Yes, energy, politician, diplomatics, all the tools, all, all tools, yeah. all tools. And uh, of course, we have information. We have experienced guy, but uh, we are cooperated 
with our friends and our neighbors like we are. Finland established a European Union Excellence Center, so yes, it's right. just recently. Yeah. In our three Baltic states, is interesting. Do you have similar units in, in, in your country? Of uh... At the moment, we talk in a government level. Maybe we uh, do something in organizing because... But Lithuanians need... have the special envoy for the hybrid threats and... Uh, it's, it's, no, Finland has just a, established yeah. the, the special yeah, center. But in, in, in government, at the moment we talk about, maybe establish, because need uh, very seriously prepared for uh, this year elections. Mm -hmm. it's in autumn, in we'll, autumn, in autumn will be its uh, parliament elections, and absolutely need because we saw what's happened in in US, what's happened in uh, UK, UK, French, in German, Italy. Italy Austria, Netherlands, everywhere. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And, uh, and for us, we have started our in, uh, discussion with why I am here. We celebrated 100 and the same. And interesting if we are co compare figures, 50 years Latvia was free and 50 years under occupation. Yes. And this year is like how I said, it's on edge. Yeah. Which direction we won't go? We are sure that uh, being the member of NATO, European Union, and uh, it will not turn back, and that it's not going to happen anymore. Nothing going to threat uh, independence and freedom of uh, Latvia and Latvian people. But we are a small nation. We very much count uh, and see our security and long-term stability in the organization, uh, the strongest and the most successful organization like NATO. You mentioned the uh, NATO summit in w Poland, which made uh, very important decisions uh, for uh, Baltic states and for the uh, security in general. In general, yeah. Uh, what are your expectations from uh, Brussels summit? It's interesting question, thank you very much. Uh, I think at the moment we don't know real schedule of, of, of because situation in the world change unbelievable fast. Almost every day. Every day, <laughs> yes, it's true. And that is the reason why we are not, I think it's absolutely sure what will be in a schedule. But uh, like it's agreement with Iran, what's happened will be or not meeting with North Korea. Just last night there was another meeting again <laughs> yeah. between two Korea's leaders and... And that's of course everything impact all process. Yes, but uh, what we, we are, how I see situation for us is a very important uh, if we are put in a, and know, I know that discussion uh, uh, running on uh, in, in NATO, reinforcement. This is reinforcement, of course need strengthening this all previous decisions mm -hmm. like EFP, adaptation, 2% uh, and that need to strengthen that. This is very important because if we are again next level of ambitions, I think it's for us is a challenging because our human resources, our financial resources is limited. And uh, I saw how it's our, my, my armed forces people it's a little bit tired because in one time, we, in the same time, we are developed our armed forces and we are helps for like a host nation. Yes. And this is in the same people. Uh, yeah, I saw that for my soldiers. It's ice is burning and everything is ready uh, and, and, and patience for, okay, we are a little bit wait for us. But we are organizing for our allies together, and, and it's a lot of exercises, a lot of exercises, big exercises, and that's not easy organizing and manage that situation. But the reinforcement strengthens previous decision, common control is very important. It's very important. I think it's we are accepted that uh, common control uh, chain and. Uh, Logistics and mobility. That's this point where we are very close connecting and the same view like in European Union. And you know, it's new, it's 
Yeah. At uh, permanent structural cooperation project with the PESCO, and we are joined in this Dutch project. We call it this like military Schengen, and this is very important and very important, and everyone knows that. And that is how it works together, NATO and, 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 and EU, you know, mobility, logistics. Uh, uh, at the moment, we are establish a, a new rare. Um, uh, logistic command, NATO, big uh, in in, uh, in Europe, and who is responsible about that process and how it's uh, implemented? Uh, yeah, and uh, how we see that situation, of course, need strengthening our AFP battle groups because, and of course, it's a moment, big discussion because previous we are. To make it More clear for the uh, the audience, EFP is, is the enhanced forward presence mm -hmm. battle group. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, yeah, like, <laughs> like no, no, that's like it's it's. Thank you very much because when I joined in that process, like uh, this position, uh, Minister of Defense, and the first time arriving in NATO Ministry, where I met my counterparts, <laughs> half of. Discussion. I not understand. Acronyms, 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 acronyms. I can't imagine. <laughs> we have been through this. Yeah, this is an interesting story. And yeah, and of course, discussion about uh, uh, Navy domain and, uh, and, 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 and air domain. This is only the strength and much more. And we are discussed because in Baltic Sea, is one of the region like similar like a Black Sea where Russia build this A to A D uh, concept and of course need the strengthens these components. You know it's uh, accepted that uh, in in NATO before was um, force domain. It's like it's land, uh, air, navy, maritime, and and, and 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 space, and now is. Uh, Cyber. Cyber. Cyber is a, like a domain at the yes. moment. No, no doubt about that. And next, I think, will be its a strategic communication. And we are happy because it's NATO strategic communication excellence centers deployed in, in, in Riga. In Riga, yeah. And now is, we are, how I call it, like a hot potato. So at the moment, a, <laughs> a lot of nations want to join it in this uh, Definitely. center. It's the, the most discussable issue and, uh, uh, and the, the most uh, popular issue, so... Um, no, but it's very crucial at the moment, uh, this discussion, how see and how communicated states and uh, strategic communication play a very serious role and I think it's like some experts says it's a moment is a battlefield, real war. Definitely. Definitely, it's a real, real war. You know what say it's our big basis. neighbors, president, who know is a fight for young generation mind. Yes, absolutely. Wish you success in your efforts, in your fight for the <laughs> safety, for the stability in uh, uh, for Latvia, for Latvian people. We are in the uh, centennial celebrations Thank of you. both uh, Latvians and uh, Georgians and I hope very much, I hope very much that uh, next uh, 50 years will be the years of prosperity, stability, security for, for our nations and we Absolutely. finally one day we will be sitting at the same uh, tables, uh, table in the NATO headquarters and uh, in the European Union. Absolutely, we should, uh, I know and we are ready advocated for Georgia, always helpful and support your, your ad, uh, aspirations to uh, EU and, and NATO. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister. Thank you for your time.